Yeah. So donate to the fucking Patreon. <clears throat> All of you who are patrons to men online, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're basically gay. You instead put a dollar bill in some guy's bulge. That's literally what you're doing when you are a man giving other men online money. You got you a know, great bulge there today, Brandon. Sent me an article about how to make my bulge look bigger. He's that's, looking out for me. That's, that, that's real bro love. That's loyalty. I went and found the actual Getty uh, uh, photo. He's not even tucking his schlong here. I mean, he's got a you know pretty big package there. This is a joke. Exactly, Alex. A man with a penis, bulging penis. He's even got the sports enhancing testicles and Johnson. Large, flaccid genitals. He's packing an anaconda in his pants. He's got some heavy firepower. Submit to them entirely. I'm Perry, this is Sidney Plain. Sidney to my right, Star of All Things Blaze TV. The one and only Mr. Brandon Steele. Uh, David Wilcock, watch. I guess it's easier to count months at this point. <laughs> I think we're on, we're on month four now, entering month four since the book will be done next week. He should blame the writer's strike. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's legally not allowed to channel. My editors decided <laughs> to start a union. So we're going to return to a man who never disappoints. Uh, Brother Bobby Hemet. This is Satan, the ultimate dark side power. Hell yeah. Let's uh, let's jump into this. See what, see what Bobby's up really to. never really faced this particular part. You see, so that's very key. Now look at this. I've talked about this on the radio. Last year... The government came out and said that it was safer to be downtown Sarajevo than downtown Atlanta. Said that. They came back this year and the only city in America that made the list of all great cities in the world was Atlanta. And that's a contradiction. If downtown Atlanta is so dangerous that Bosnia looks like Mickey Mouse land in 96, how the hell Atlanta makes the only, is the only yeah, American dude. city that made the list we got to get rid of, of the crime the in our cities. In, in 1997. As we go back and watch these these old documentaries and old videos, I really am coming to the conclusion just nothing has ever changed. Everything's yeah. the same fucking thing it was. This is 1996. We're talking about we got to stop crime in the inner cities. We always got to stop crime in the inner cities. We've been having the same fucking discussion for probably a hundred straight years. We've never been able to solve the riddle of crime in the inner cities. Well, I think the only thing that changes is what medium we use to discuss it. Because I'm sure there was some guy on the radio back in the 20s and then the newspaper paper like newspaper radio the television comes up it's just what happened when we invented you know the media is people immediately their natural inclination is just to go on bitching about shit. to go on radio and be like crime's going through the roof this telephone's cool yeah we the, the first thing with the phone just started calling people he's like crime is through the roof the city's going yeah. to shit i hang up and he called the next person hey did you know crime is rampant in the community i think microphones may be one of the worst inventions of all time like in terms of damage caused because you're right yeah. all, all we've done is allowed angry drunk guys <laughs> to have an audience yes. like before you know whatever a hundred years ago someone might just be sitting in a pub ranting about their dumb shit now yeah. now the broadcast universally yeah i mean it really is just like hey what if we gave the drunk asshole um uh, the world's biggest microphone which good bit that's very funny oh it's, <laughs> it's made very funny to take the drunk guy from the pub yeah. and, and just give his voice to a hundred thousand people yeah However, that, you know, I don't think they intended to do that. The, the consequences point, of such have been rather severe. Yeah, the point was to have someone educated, perhaps, uh, expound upon these things, not to just let some fucking crazy guy. No, I want Sean Hannity to be, yell at me for 35 minutes a night. Well, we've been doing this. No wonder the older generations are so much harder, as their version of the news has just been for decades and they actually watched it. it was just someone coming on and yelling at you about how everything's bad. Everything's bad and we're all going to die. Just for decades <laughs> on end, it's just been nothing but that nonstop. Yeah, I, I suppose the younger group is kind of getting like a more concise version of that now. Because it's like you, well, they you just don't get, get lied the, to. You don't get the same news, but you do see a thousand people on Twitter a day saying some variation of that. Yeah. That everything's yeah. bad and we're all going to die. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure there will be no negative repercussions. It's just what all of our media turns into. Is everything's bad and we're all going to die. Yeah. 1997, 
Well, it's very simple. What's he diagramming? That means that either they were lying last year... That or an hourglass or a bracket for NCAA <laughs> Madden or some shit? Class. He's probably just drawing a wine glass. <laughs> He's trying to manifest the libations. Go to the, go to the, the main library. And, and, and Sister E. Alwo can bear witness to this. Or Yawo can bear witness to this. Because this is some very serious stuff we're dealing with. The woman's very name serious. is you see, you see Sister Yawoke. They got going down. You heard him. The new they're saying on Alabama Street they're going to build a whole group of theaters. You know, like, not movie theaters, but performing like Broadway. You see what I'm saying? You ever been to a burlesque show? It's almost like a titty club. If he starts talking about drag shows, I'm going to turn off the fucking episode. They're trying to sexualize the children. We got to stop these demons, okay? This was the slippery slope we was talking about with gay marriage. I'm going to tell you what I mean. I was in New York last spring. And 42nd Street in New York is known. They got all the damn Raider X places you're going by your pornos. Right, right, of course, the first place you went. That's where he's got to right go. Right there, you can see it. The whole thing is not, it was just, just, just porn Brother Bobby just street, window browsing and porno mags. I think it's I a freer God. time. We oh, I don't want to buy it. I just want to get a look at the cover. Well, because you, you kind of got to own your perversion at that point. Like back in the day when you got to go actually buy pornography. Yeah, it was in person. There was a tangible... That's why it's so easy to say you're, like, trans or whatever the fuck now. You don't have to, like, go to a store. You have to put skin in the game when yeah. you're going to purchase pornography. It's easy to do online. If you do it in public, then it's real. Yeah, and, and then you're, I guess you're less likely to indulge in, like, weird fetish shit. Because, sure, like, technically, the guy behind the counter, you know, he's not he's or, not supposed to tell anyone, but he's, not, he's absolutely going to tell someone. Or do you get emboldened? And also, is there a deeper bond of trust? Than the dude who runs those stores and his customers, he that might be the most trusting relationship left in the world. I have to imagine that job was used frequently for blackmailing purposes. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you know how much you have to trust the motherfucker who works at the store, the store you buy your weird niche pornography from. Well, crazily enough, we still all do the same thing. Like, if you think about it, if some evil motherfucker at Pornhub wanted to take control of things. Yeah, but I think that's different because, once again, it's the internet. That's true, so it could be fake. You going, can't fake being on video well, and going it's, But goodbye. it's also just like on the internet, I'm sure you're not going to be the only victim of this person's crime. That's true. A lot of people are going to look funny. It's less personal. It's But more... having pictures of you buying, like, niche black pegging porn. <laughs> I wonder how many people wore costumes to, like, go... Is they're like, like the fucking the coat. Well, there's the trench coat. I like coat, to think most first timers would do that. There's got to be like sunglasses and uh, a fake nose involved. Yeah, they probably just go to like the local costume store. I we assume. got we kind of missed out on that. We we got like the back end of that. I I've only yeah. I stumbled into the the porn section of a video store once when I was a youth, and well, even had like the the cliche beaded curtain separating yeah. it. I mean. I didn't know that was a thing, though. I was a kid. I just walked through beaded curtains, and there were people getting fucked in the ass. I was yeah, like, that's, that's, in hindsight, I don't want to watch that movie. In hindsight, that's not a very, <laughs> it's not a very good barrier. No, it's terrible. It's transparent. To, ke- to you keep can people see out. It. I guess you got you know, got to be able to look in and sample the wares from a distance yeah. safely. Yeah, what a bygone era when you used to spend a Friday night going to select what you're going to jerk off to this weekend. And then if you get home and you picked wrong... Yeah. There's, there's no clicking there's another video. There's nothing else, man. You got to find a way. Now you got to you got to scrub through it on VHS yeah. and try and find the 30 second loop you could use. Uh. In, 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 in October, it's all Walt Disney, Universal Studios. I mean, they don't think you got this get changed overnight from a titty bar to damn Mickey Mouse. Like, Is he really about to say Disney sexualizing like the children? I think we fell into a time machine. I'm not sure what's <laughs> what's happening, but yes, this is... He really was ahead of the curve on all this shit. This is wild if he's about to go <laughs> that direction. It looked like it took him about 10 years to build this thing. They did it over the summer. I hope so he accuses Disney of trafficking now. children. <laughs> they fly the shit in a helicopter. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Take some screws. Put the juice in. You own. I swear, 42nd Street, man, look like the yellow brick road. 
I mean, yeah. Now, if, they, if, if they can do that to, uh, to New York in a matter of four months, they can transform downtown Atlanta in a matter of two. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you're saying they could and fix Atlanta because they have this Disneyland. New complex, so that means that basically they have said. I'm not, actually not sure he sees removing the pornography as a plus. <laughs> I think I think he wants the, the porno oh. shops. And yeah, the, well, no, he's a First Amendment absolutist. Now, yes. sister, y'all will can deal with this. Because I remember her saying it in the spring. She was blessed to go back down and work. At the porno shop. At the <laughs> porno. <laughs> Look, if, if, if sister, yeah. she give me a good this deal. Every time I go to the you store, know, I get a discount. What doing down there. And overnight, where used to shit used to be for the urban, there's absolutely nothing for the urban. Now, now. it's gay it's shit. It's all based on what? Getting that white yuppie back in town. And now what? Northside Drive. Northside Drive used to be all black with a project right there on the corner of Northside and Fair Street. The project is going, and all of Northside Drive is now white lost. Now, if you oh, go God, they the gentrified it. Lost yeah. Up, and white people coming back up in here. And this is not just in Atlanta. Famously white in Atlanta. <laughs> this is in Philadelphia. It's a white city this now. This is in D.C. Where they got that relocation plan that they've been talking about since the 70s. That's right. Now, That's right. That means that if you are poor, you are just obsolete. Straight up. Preach. You see what I'm saying? You are just obsolete. We straight We should up. kill the poor. And so <laughs> this is what's happening. They're now, obsolete. Yeah. They it's the only way to bring back the middle class. The we'll we'll just pull a reverse what's that guy's name and eat the poor. Yeah, we'll eat chunk. them instead. Why would we eat the rich? They have the money. They never left. See? They never left. And they got and they got rid of the bulk of them, this large chunk. They got rid of all the middle class. How many people have gone to these projects? How many people raise your hand? Have you seen these projects empty? Gone. Now, I see, my point is, is this. He's riling them up. What has happened He's about is to start a revolution in this <laughs> bitch. Power to the people is what I'm saying. Until the you alcohol kicks up. So we was like, no, nah, we ain't in Syria. It's when the one you random know, audience right member breaks out the bongo like drum again. <laughs> because in our mind, <laughs> the guy in the Detroit, Detroit thing show. Trying to do was match the white man. That's our validation. That's like a woman getting her ass whipped. I'd try to be a better woman the next time. Nigga got a black eye. Same That's a good way to look at it. At abuse. The pedagogy of the old She'll probably take Looking away from this beating that she should, you know, be better next time. Where the, the oppressed gains the mind of the oppressor. So therefore, you thinking the equal up like that, and he's saying to people, I'm going to put a test to these niggas' ass to show these motherfuckers that they are inferior. We're going to clean out their neighborhood and clean out black people from under them and kill them, and you'll still be walking around here like it's Monday. Like it's 1975. <laughs> One guy is really into it in the audience. Oh, yeah, dude, he's ready to start the revolution. I'm telling you, the revolution is coming. You don't this is why they had to they take him out. Where they killed off all the black people and only black people they had. Do you think it's the, the terrorists he would inspire? One black man got out. He said, I'm synthetic, which means I'm a clone. God said, what, what the fuck happened to you? What? what? He met a clone? He always... I guess this, in the timeline of things, this lecture is before the one we watched where he revealed he has come back from the dead and is himself perhaps alone. I don't quite remember. I believe so. I mean, I know he came back from the dead. He reincarnated because having a heart attack as a black person means your melanin magic has uh, increased to such a level that your heart, like, exploded and yeah. needed to be reconstructed in order to contain the, the melanin, new magical yeah. elements you've produced. Yeah. Great way to write off a heart attack. Was in the damn TV set, and one black man got out. He said, "I'm synthetic, which means I'm a clone." Okay. I said, what, 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 okay. What y'all? He said, "Well, it's, it's easy." He said, "They, they do it so slowly, so you don't even recognize it." Logan's Run. Well, no niggas. <laughs> even Mr. Fry even made that shit. He said, "That all the science fiction movies coming out of ain't no Negroes in it. That must mean that they don't intend to up for us to be." What there. a hilarious <laughs> review of Logan's <laughs> Run. You see, so we talk about some serious stuff. We knew the global 2000 that was supposed to wipe a billion people. Uh, off Logan's the Run. I ain't no boobs. <laughs> his his uh, library is right there, and he's the uh, main. Someone should have made a black version of that. Headquarters. Yeah. So that ought to let you know that the billion people that were talking about wiping off the planet wasn't crackers. Well, of course you know not. Because they're not having babies. They talk about us. So now what we're talking about here, I'm, and the reason why I say this is because I've been saying this for the night. See, I don't get a backflow from this. Sometimes 
I don't think you see the horror in this shit. Every now and then you just gotta just oh once God, you see the horror, the horror it's, it's brother Bobby voice. lives I with. I say this all the time, and and you know it's funny. I go around, I say they say, well, what's up, what's up, man? And I tell the dead people. I say, shit is fucked, bro. Say, yeah, you know they just clean out them projects and they just um kill off some of them black people there now. And they'll go, uh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. So how you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> and what the, and see what the bell curve is saying. You're not inferior based on whether you can read and write. You're inferior that you can't comprehend. Your mind, uh, genocide is not even, it's too much, it's too above your comprehension of it. You can't even fathom nothing like this. If it had been any other race and shit, man, it would have been on. You'd probably uh -huh. see some motherfucker with machine gun. But with us, and now we got some of pushing genocide. It really is. Then, we're we're in a rerun socially. Wait a minute. Because now we got other people just claiming a genocide is going on. We got to genocide our way involved, through all problems. In. I didn't put in your hours, and so you can. You ain't be it's a very light like genocide by genocide standards. <laughs> well, you know, even genocide's not the same these days. It's so subtle as to be unnoticed. No, you're gonna have to give me something. That's the only time. Now we're talking about this and all, and it's like. And I see, I say, yeah, you know, they, they, they're killing people in the project. Oh, yeah? Well, how your mama doing? <laughs> it don't even register. And it's not that it's, and what we're talking about. It's because you just got done there. telling them you've come back to life. <laughs> they yeah. are so inferior now. <laughs> this is one of, the, can't even one of the issues he's got. Which is, he says a lot of very true shit. A lot of these people in this space have this issue. They say a lot of things that are true and probably should be focused on. But when you say something like the government is kind of softly organizing this genocide of black people through subjugation via the project, that's right. kind of true. Yeah. But when you couch it around statements like, you know, black people, if they think hard enough, can stop hurricanes from happening. Yeah. You're just not going to be taken as seriously as you probably want to be. Yeah, they have a way of making facts stupid. <laughs> yeah, you got to really stick to the more evidence-based objects than the, the esoteric elements. Yeah. Anything, not unless it comes on the news. So it's not, you understand what I'm saying? They can't even take it. So therefore, it don't even register. One guy, I said, yeah, yeah, they, I said, we went around the projects last night and all the black people gone. He said, yeah, and he, and, and he said, yeah, man, I know what you're talking about. And I said, oh, shit. This motherfucker realized. He said, yeah, man. He said, they got him over there by me. I said, by you? What you mean? Yeah, Section 8, how? I said, yeah, they're moving them over by me. Section 8. I said, how many? He said, I know about one family. Yeah. Well, this motherfucker still don't get what I'm talking about. I'm lying. Okay. <laughs> this is the land of all things. Just go and look at it. You got too deep into the truth. Then I cut the camera off. I, I don't know. I was thinking of the, of the other stuff, and I did brain. Is he drawing a skeleton? Uh, what you need to do is this. This is the Atlanta Hawks thing. This uh -oh. is 1998. Okay. 1998. The 1998 Atlanta Hawks? This is the Atlanta Hawks insignia. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is go get any... He's drawn the Hawks logo? In 98. Who's on the Hawks in 90... I can't think of anyone. Dominic uh, Wilkins, if I know. I think Dominique had retired by then. Yeah. 1938, 39, 40s when World War II started. World War II. But they came to power. The Nazi Party came to power. Oh, in my God. The Hawks logo is the Nazi eagle. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, damn. You see. Atlanta's a Nazi city. You heard it here, here. folks. This Trey is Young is a Nazi. Of the Nazi party damn <laughs> damn the nazis own the hawks this is why you can't doubt bobby he's always gonna even when he's down some he's yeah. gonna come through he, he's now, gonna hit a home run at a certain point Harlem. he's just got that special stuff most don't have so holding which is just Nazi. looking at birds and being like nazis, yeah. <laughs> nazis he probably just black. lost money on yeah. a hawks game he's like these nazis have took now my money the, the nazis hawks. fixed the spread black the nazis black fucked black them with me i know it my book is gonna kill me shape that covers all part which is also the swastika oh now, my god the basketball's a swastika on this because the swastika is an ancient african symbol right and is in every culture including the original hebrews 
damn, he jumped into the science it's real difficult. quick on this one. Yeah, he did. He turned it up to 100 <laughs> fast. This, they're using the same energy. You can use the energy for you or against you. Uh -huh. The reason why this particular thing went this color and it actually became a new replica of Nazi Germany is because Nazi Germany was known for what? Concentration camps. Yep. Genocide. Auschwitz. What's right. all the concentration camps? Strachau and all that. Strachau. <laughs> Strachau. This hey, new close Nazi enough. Germany Strike out. <laughs> is going two <laughs> Number one, Atlanta has a new Nazi Germany that they turn out with in these concentration camps. We're building the new Nazi Germany in Atlanta. I feel like the Hawks should have gotten like a championship, maybe even like an Eastern Conference Finals, out of being the representatives of the Nazi Party. No, they're very bad at management. They they have almost nothing to show for it. They paid uh, Josh Smith a ton of money or whatever, and then yeah. now they got Trey Young. Hitler Hitler was a bad GM. They had like a forty two year old defense Carter. They haven't been very successful for being no. the Nazis. The only uh, thing they've genocided they is their win-loss record. <laughs> I guess they got barber shops in the stadium. That's year. pretty cool. Techwood Homes is gone. East Lake Meadows is gone. Herndon Homes is gone. Carl Homes got about 15 families up in there. Big old gate round. McDaniel Glenn got a few families up in there. And like I said, I used to catch the 13 bus to go to damn Clark. And it, Matt Daniel Glenn would be a pack. Why are you going People to court? They got to go downtown. <laughs> he just, just went to the, watch. On the number level Matt Daniel Glenn bus. Just Not entertaining. Five. People getting on the fucking bus. To go I wish it was project. the fucking courtroom That's artist. He's just drawing swastikas on everything. <laughs> fucking stick figure drawings. <laughs> with swastikas. The Germany thing too. But what White they don't realize shit. is the Nazi Germany energy is also the energy that we need. What? Certain energy. Excuse me? Very spiritual shit went down in Germany. Right. Very spiritual. That's one way of putting it, I guess. <laughs> well, he's look. There, there look, was the whole Blavatsky thing going on. The Holocaust was nothing if not spiritual. So he's not. You know, he's not technically wrong, but it's not the phrasing I would go with. Let's see where he goes with this. Now, I, I'm interested by the fact that he didn't tie the Atlanta Falcons into the Nazi imagery because the Falcons logo looks more like the Nazi thing. Than the Hawks logo. That's why I'm gonna say when people ask me anything about the Holocaust from now on, <laughs> it was spiritual. This, some spiritual <laughs> shit went down and in look, Nazi Germany. Everyone was on their spiritual journey. Yeah. Look, it got the spirituality got a little out of hand. <laughs> but Adolf Hitler said, "I am not the Messiah. There's gonna be some people that come after me. Oh no, it's gonna be the ones that destroy Europe. Is this where Kanye got it from? I'm starting to and wonder. You understand that? You looking at this thing as good and evil?" Good, at good and evil. See what I'm saying? When I ask you a question. Right, that's our issue. Now, We're looking at the Nazis as bad guys. <laughs> Expand your mentality. Now, I feel like that's what he's <laughs> saying. <laughs> we gotta think outside the box, okay? The Nazis did a lot of things. On the world, right? Now, ain't that what Jesus was supposed to do? Wait a minute. Now, hold on now. Wait a minute now. Wait the fuck up. <laughs> uh -oh. I thought that Jesus was supposed to come back and tear this motherfucker up. <laughs> I agree. Body. Jesus yeah. must come back and tear this motherfucker up. Blood. And I thought that's what the doggone Antichrist. They said the Antichrist will bring the world to destruction, right? Yeah. Did you get the damn gist? It's a damn riddle. The fucking Antichrist is God. What? Because the damn show can't be nobody that came up in here and do some shit worse than the white man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a paradox. Man? The yeah. Antichrist is both do? Christ and not him. That's not what Jack Van Impey and them saying he gonna do it. He gonna go to Israel and he... That ain't shit. That ain't nothing compared to the white man doing. You see what I'm saying? Reverend Valentine was saying they got a nigga up in their damn place. Got a wire in his ear. And an implant. And they got the wire stitched up in his ear. And then they uh -huh. got the feedback from the radio and, them, and, the, and the white people up in there saying, They can hear us. What? <laughs> they, can, they can hear us. Someone was hooked up to the radio? They've wired a black guy to be part of the ra radio transmitter? Or That's what like... it sounds like, but I think they just stitched a radio cable to him. Trying to use my, my powers of Bobby interpretation, I think what he's saying is maybe the evil uh, white man wired up black spy. 
like they turned so a we black could listen man to him? Yeah, into a microphone so he could go into black spaces unnoticed. Well, that is it's, ingenious. They, they're hearing us. They got a feed. Seems back. like a tape recorder would be much easier than, you know, wiring a microphone into a map. They, probably, they probably. hear the white men somewhere in another state talking. They got an implant in this nigga ear, and they say, oh, they can hear us. What? We implanted they something in his house. ear to listen. You see what I'm saying? You know, and, and uh, brother, he goes up, some, some sister, she all lovey-dovey conscious. She wearing a damn wire. Oh, no. She Sister's wearing there. a wire. Damn. And the brother hear her damn ass on the radio down down in the car. Talking shit about him down in the car with another damn agent. Mm. You think, oh, what, what the Antichrist gonna do? Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, I don't know Look what you're saying. Now. What is the Antichrist gonna do? Last, He's gonna put wires on your women. <laughs> yeah, you can put wear a wire so you can find out your sister's lying time. about you to the police. <laughs> Africa, in the Man, I, the Antichrist has weird now, priorities. We don't these planets lining up. I'm Y'all going to the Bureau. planets line up where you damn a couple of months too late. The planets lined up the weekend of before Thanksgiving and of Thanksgiving. There you have it. So therefore, that's one another thing. I told you that the Dogon said that hell, the year 2000 was 1994. Right? So we even came when the white man came on TV last year in New Year's of 1997 based on the last calendar we got, which is the latest calendar, 1997 is least the year 2000 based on our calendar. And that's a late calendar. Right. Okay. So 1994, the Dogon said the ship was over. So therefore, you saying with the planets supposed to line up on May 5th, 2000, hell, the planets lined up. In oh, January, we missed didn't it. Just lined up again, didn't it? They lined up sometime in January, Or did right? we? I think he's going for the world is about. over already. Now, going Hell back yeah. to this particular thing. Because that is one of his teachings as well, is that we're all we're dead. In we're dead, yeah. Which is a very good book to get. Because he damn laid the shit out back in 1978. Word. Ice, the ultimate disaster. Well, he said, based on the planet's line of the crack, is going to retreat to Africa. <laughs> and as I Word. Said, you know, that is what the happened. The we billion, went straight to Africa. A dollars and they put a black man up at the head of UN, and now the whole shit is oh, Africa. Okay. But we no, all know, right. This, this storyline still follows through. We're developing Africa so when the new ice age hits, we can flee back to Africa to be warm. Well, that's a good strategy. Not rebuilding no motherfucking ships with them black people when they done killed 100,000 off in Rwanda. And they're killing them all over the world. Wait, Rwanda. Wait, wait, wait a second. The the right Ro- Rwanda was, was specifically not the white man. No, white man. That was, that was, the that white was man the caused, caused those warring black African tribes to murder yeah, each other. I don't think there were a lot of white men in the hoodoos or tootsies or whatever. No, and they were known white supremacists. <laughs> damn. So we built Africa was his name. We got a damn elaborate. We got to make Africa great again. <laughs> with brand new buildings and cleaner. Now we just need to plug up the juice. And we got damn weather modification shit so we can live on the continent. They got this shit. We Word, we Black do. Black media had a video, and I think uh, we, we got it here. On the weather modification. So what then the they go pump the juice up, and then they got this whole city. I saw it. When I was in Philly, I was telling them about it, and I didn't know it was a channel. And as I'm telling them about it, I'm actually looking at the shit, because I'm in the damn lecture, describing the shit to them. Uh-huh. And I say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait the fuck up. <laughs> How the hell am I describing something to them? I ain't got no documentation on it. I ain't got no picture of it. Oh, but I'm making it up. I was describing <laughs> this city they got in the middle of Africa. So uh-huh. all the money is to pump up in there. I accidentally described the city. This is what they're doing. So I they, went with it. And look at this. What's the name of the street Juju live on? Lawson <laughs> Street. <laughs> What's the name of the project, street Juju live on? on Lawson? He One my Jewish lawyer. Lawson, the other <laughs> we call him Juju. Ends on Ashby Street. So what they did is they came to see it's Mohouse College is right across the street. So they left a little bit of Negroes in the project there on the uh-huh. side of the street. Just so a sprinkling. Like he's like, he's but more on house. the other side of Lawton, they came up in there and they said one day the sheriff just came and they put out about 100 families. Wow. And they just put out all this money. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you heard the guy say, wow. Yeah. And they put out about 100 families. Wow. And they just put out <laughs> wow. all this furniture. 
He was shocked. He was yeah. genuinely astonished well, by that. Something tells me the sheriff didn't just show up and kick out a hundred families worth of people. Wow. Onto the street. I'd be blown away if that happened too, if the cops just showed up and yeah. forced everyone at gunpoint to leave their houses. How the hell a hundred families can't pay their rent? But then this is just the funny thing. They put out all this furniture and the people will start to run up and say, man, y'all wrong, getting them people shit. People said, no, the people been gone about two months. What, what kind of people going to move and leave all that furniture in the house? Oh, they killed them all. Oh, they were executed. Damn. That then makes they cut sense. On all the lights and stuff. They, 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 cut, they cut on all, all the doggone lights. Now, going back to this, what's happening to them brothers and sisters? Well, we know that some of them for the melatonin thing, but they got people Oh, they got harvested. Mm. What they do is this. They've been building underground cities all over. Oh, no, they're, they're sending the With black people to the underground cities? Yeah, so they can juice them for their melanin. So they need workers. <laughs> they put them so in a big blender and they juice them. Man, the cracker people. is devious. Came out 1990. So you got to realize when I'm going to... Totally My skin is what? perfectly suited for law. underground <laughs> habitation. He in America working, got a wife, got a kid, going to work every day. Yeah. Somebody in a repro family day you can care for business. Life. Right? That's what they're doing to these brothers and sisters in the project. See, it's not a damn work camp like, whoa, whoa. They don't shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, Some of these whoa, niggas got on construction hats, and they're over in Africa, but they think they've been born in Africa, and they think they've been living in this world for years because they're programmers. So they, go, they come in, they take these people out of the project, they wipe out their memory. Oh, and, and ship them to Africa. Oh, we're reverse slavering them? I mean, that's some scary <laughs> shit, don't We're sending them back to Africa? So just to be clear, what's happening in Atlanta at the time of this video's recording... We're, we're gentrifying it. Well, it's not gentrification. Right, That's far too easy. It's genocide. What we're doing is we're abducting thousands of Africans. Yes. We're wiping their memory. Yes. We're implanting in their minds the memory that they've always been African. Correct. And then we're shipping them back to Africa where they're constructing a super city for the white man to hide in once the world's ice age comes again. Exactly. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Who are you killing <laughs> in the project? Born in damn Georgia, in Atlanta. See what I'm saying? Muffin, come and get you. Wipe out your damn mind. Got you in Africa. You either serving a little white coat on, or you, you, you doing some, some, it's always some media label. Or they might have a motherfucker up in there. I mean, yeah, it's places. Africa. It's not exactly a tech <laughs> hub. <laughs> And they all think that they were born in that particular area. They might think it's, they might think it's on another planet. But anyway, they're working over there, and they deprogrammed their mind. And they're new people. Not only that, the crackers came on TV. I got the damn... Wait, they broke out. free what of the mind people? control? The crackers came on TV about a month ago, and they uh -huh. got the guy Timothy Hutton played in a damn movie where he had, he, he had died a couple of... He had died about a year ago. And they had done reprogram a new family into him and everything. But he, he, because he was around the same area, he started getting memory lapses. Okay. And found out that in actuality, that they done put a, a whole new memory in this motherfucker. So this Damn. is what they're doing to the people in the project. Whole they new memory up in this motherfucker. This is some horror. This is some, this is some amazing shit. See what I'm saying? Now, the only good part about it, and it's not necessarily good. I like this proof for that whole thing was some movie with Timothy Hutton's Yeah, <laughs> with one scene. <laughs> what has spared your ass is now you either got to be paying rent or you got to be, pay you got to be paying some rent, either in an apartment. Or you could be squatting like a house. You understand what I'm saying? Or either be in middle class or up and mobile. If you, any type of public assistance... Is, is, is they calling in the markers before Damn. you get to your ass. But, you know, Everyone's section hand, eight's getting memory wiped. <laughs> Damn, and <laughs> sent to Africa. Africa. <laughs> wow, what a way to deal with poverty. <laughs> with the world's most expensive solution. Yeah. Hey, what if we send them back to Africa after wiping their memory of America? Let's just send the poor back. Don't you know any time you can start going by the projects and seeing the projects cleaned out, that means now is the damn time. I wonder how they're, like, now, getting them all now, without I alerting everyone. Did the white boy got a system he got us on in his They car. probably, I imagine they sneak it's up on them with, your goals and your with something and knock them out. So just you, one by you, one. And you looking for some goal in the future. Because he got you looking at this goal in the future. He's already eliminated this amount of time. 
And mm. there is no such thing as the goddamn future. The future is now. So he can create or, time by giving you a goal. Damn. So everybody looks the white man created goals just to make time. <laughs> then they fuck you up. <laughs> just to fuck over because the black man. If we never done all made these goals, we'd all be free. Start thinking about what your daughter's going to do. It ain't about your damn children. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your children. The first thing they do is they come on TV and they tell you to change. They tell you. You got to think about children. yourself. Your children hey, will be fine. Children, it's about saving the adults. The children <laughs> only follow the goddamn adults, for example. <laughs> That's contradiction. We ain't got no fathers. The black father gone. Save the children. No. No. Save the grown man. <laughs> save the damn mama. Oh. Get the damn toddlers already. Chill. You see? What's so they, 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 that's they awesome back. rationale, dude. Look again, he's not save the children. <laughs> no, no, save the men. <laughs> save the grown men. Now he's not necessarily wrong. Like if the mom and the dad are good, chances are the kids will follow. You could have more kids. Yeah, <laughs> they're replaceable. So the first thing anything got, got to do is say about them children. You get all teary eyed. Oh, <laughs> crying as your kids die. The <laughs> and the children are already fine. They just gonna follow the adult. You see. But if you save the damn children, you just prolong the agony until they got, get up. And then they damn kids. He really has right. perfected just living in the now. But the key is He's the in the flow they, state. They got you stuck here it's in the year 2000. It's all about getting high not it's raising four years your children. Ago. Yeah, you got to get drunk, quit your job, you and see, stop raising these useless kids. In the future, I agree. It's, it's hard to deny the logic. To all the black scholars. Yeah, you see all the black, all the niggas they put on TV. They talk about the future, the black person role in the future. You see what I'm saying? And the whole time, because the melanin is what they call foresight. Word. It extends time for them to keep them living. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So you extending the damn time. But the thing about it, we don't need the masses of people. We only need the motherfuckers in this damn room to understand what time it is, because the masses ain't gonna get the shit. You get it? Yeah, so the now, masses are stupid. This is the future, and they have already eliminated 1998 because you're looking for the year 2000 and beyond. And the year 2000 was down here in 1994, and the future never gets here. <laughs> what? You get it? I mean, this is, that's just an unhinged <laughs> sentence. I'm fucking, I'm dizzy. The year, the white man eliminated 1998 because the year 2000 is 1994. Yeah. And the future is never going to get here. No, the future can never get here because it is here. Oh, yeah, I guess we only can exist in the now. I the guess the future he's going for is like right here now. now. Yeah. Again, I agree. I'm just not sure we reached the same conclusion. <laughs> from it. That's why it's historical. I'm telling you, it's historical that we got to deal with this today because I'm telling you now, when I get into this shit, this is not no shit that I, I you know, I go and do the research and say, well, maybe I done did the field work on this shit. I see what the, what the cracker's response to. Cracker bad me oh, the down sweating's getting down up. a week ago. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't fuck with the dark shit. Anytime a damn cracker tell you not to fuck with I say, you too late, man. I say, man, shit. Oh. I've been doing that shit for that five years. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I got your ass now. I see where you're going with this shit. I see where you're going with this shit. Y'all got man, it's just I'm telling you it's gonna be pumped up. Let's deal with it. Okay, come on. All right, let's deal let's with go. it. I'm pumped. All right. Let's deal with a little more hard. I want to know more about so the now, Nazi Atlanta Hawks. They got a new shit now. It's called the Black Early Prison Relief Release. They'll come and they'll do this. They'll come and kill your ass. <laughs> already have your release papers. You already dead. Or either they done reprogram you. And ship you to Africa. Oh, they're killing the Australia. prisoners and sending them to Africa. Underground at, uh, America. What a great, what a great solution to all of America's problems. Ship them, them and out. ship okay. them away. Just dude. send them back to Africa. Then they need more people. If your parents, somebody come up there and say, "Where well, was so and so?" They go, "Oh, we released them two weeks ago." You see, and so if the, the less of the crime, the more, the, the more expendable you are. All right, now, I did, again, maybe based in some... Tr I have heard in super corrupt prison systems that sometimes someone will, like, die, and then the president will just claim they, they transported, like, the person's in transit to a different facility, 
so they can't tell uh, the person's relatives where they are. Mm. But sometimes they'll keep that up for like two years, and the guy's just been dead the whole time. So maybe, maybe that's what he's going with. But I'll give him the so. benefit of the doubt. Why yeah. not? You just have to fuck up probation. You know what I'm saying? And you got a piece of candy, but it done fucked up the probation. You got to go do the remainder of the day. Why would your candy fuck up your probation? Uh, you in there for about a year. No probation, the candy. That, and they got and that's a mass of the black people in there for some trumped up shit. So what they'll do is they'll release your ass. And the parents come and they say, oh, we, we let him out. About, we let him out last year. Well, we didn't know nothing about it. Well, hell, um, uh, they, they, uh, you know, we didn't know nothing about it. Well, we let him out. Um, um, you know, we, 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 we let him out, you know. Early release program. And you be like, well, we don't know what the heck. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you know how they get, but we don't know, you know. Next, it's your word. You come up with law, they know. It's your word against that. Word. They, got the they do be like, next. <laughs> Every time I'm at the that. prison. Yeah, trying to find there someone who's vanished standing. mysteriously. <laughs> Demanding to know where my vanished relatives are. Yeah, yeah the person behind the counter is always like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> next. <laughs> At this particular time. I don't know. We there released is, him. Um, I don't get paid okay, enough for this, sir. Okay, next. <laughs> no, I cannot help you find a missing relative, <laughs> sir. That is next. not my job. <laughs> You're going to need to go <laughs> to Department 14. <laughs> so, especially if you got life, death row, they'll ship your ass on out. They might put a cone or something up in there or whatever type thing. I think I'd rather anyway, be in jail than in Africa. If I was on death row. What an even more devious plot is we ship off death row inmates to Africa, but we can't just do that because someone's got to die. So now we got to <laughs> clone them. So we can we can now imprison a clone uh, purely for the purpose of just, executing just it to, to execute keep up them. appearances. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's bureaucracy for you. It's <laughs> convoluted. It's goddamn it's, red tape wasting oh, our yeah, tax a dollars. A waste of money. This is where your tax dollars go to, folks. I hope somebody addresses this in the upcoming uh, presidential cycle. Folks, we got to cut <laughs> back on clones. We got to stop executing clones. The clones <laughs> are costing us too much money. <laughs> too much. Still on the off. Uh, we going, uh, let's, let's keep on going to, to go through this hard copy. So as you know, the El Nino is kicking ass. Um, major earthquake. Oh, that's funny. The El Nino has China. cycled back into the news Worst right about now. Worst in New England and Canada. See what I'm saying? But yet it's warm down here. But then again, on the other hand, it's hot in New York and it's cold down here. Word. You see what I'm saying? It depends. You know what I'm saying? There's right. That you understand Weather does this change. Particular time. The El right. Nino is kicking ass. Let's go through some things and let you recap on where we are and what critical point we are. First of all, uh, when we talk about what happened last year, every shit lined up last year, even with the late calendar, because last year was the 20-year 20, 20 anniversary, 1997, 20-year anniversary of Roots, 20-year uh, anniversary of Star Wars, 20-year uh, oh, anniversary of Roots. this Necronomicon book I'm going to get into in a few minutes and all of the little yeah. A-bomb nice. <laughs> uh, Roots, Star the Wars, <laughs> the Necronomicon, the what a trio. A second O.J. Simpson trial, Super Bowl 31. <laughs> 31 is the key to the book of law. We'll right. deal with that one. Um, um, uh, second installment of the march, which is the Million Woman March, which is also the Heiru Energy Million Man Maya Energy Million Woman March. Because right. y'all know they were there. They didn't know the energy they were giving off, so even that was still cool. You see what I'm saying? Hail Bop Comet last year. El Nino started last year. That's a lot of shit to happen in 97 alone. A lot of El shit Nino, do happen every year. Alignment, yeah. Amistad, which was a fucked up movie. <laughs> <laughs> started, um, which was real fucked up. Now, here, here goes, now, let me show you the deal. First of all, show us. here it is. They, got, they give a nigga, he sees some picture of the Bible and some pictures of Jesus up in there. Like, this, like we didn't have no damn spiritual shit in our land. Yeah. Puff, they fooled your ass. You would think that America was the great liberators. Oh, these poor damn slaves. So they, Come on. They, they got rid of the, the, the blame off their ass. They knew they had to put out something with slavery. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. Because once you start damn really damn burning down the place, they're going to come out with their damn paying your ass off. Right. But anyway, they put out. Again, they he's kind of keying into know, something we're dealing with politics. culturally now, which is, you know, Hollywood just putting out shit to placate you know, hey, minority groups. I mean, he is now. a prophet. Yeah. Like why why do they time. keep making all the white you characters know, black? <laughs> shit. I don't give a damn if you ain't got but two days left. Shit. Buy, buy two days worth of liquor and wine and shit, you know. But anyway, 
They put out this movie, but it, the whole shit was based on damn Cuba. So America didn't have no blame in all America, great emancipators, freeing the damn slaves. They throw the Bible up in there. Now, anybody know history know that England is the greatest slave traders in world history? Because they Word. took it from Spain, because Spain didn't let them get in it for the first hundred years. So when they took it from Spain, they said, fuck it. So they, 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 they yeah, had Yeah, King they George notoriously race. said, England, yeah, fuck, fuck it, there. fuck it. They go and knock Let's down do the this whole slavery thing. Over in Africa, the slave plate trick. And they, you know damn well, they still got Gory Island standing up that motherfucker right now. Ain't no fucking English blue down shit. Right. They act like, you know, this is all wrong in the right. English. Then the fool's gonna say, yeah, isn't it true that y'all sell slaves to each other? Put that old bullshit back up in there. Right. And I said, wait a minute, this looked like it came right out of the eyes of the damn white man. Word. Now, why the hell this man is a damn Jew don't even believe in no fucking Bible? He gonna put the yeah. Bible Yeah, oh, his hell yeah. The Jew doesn't even yeah, believe in the Bible. <laughs> and when he made his movie... Is he about to blame, blame he the Jews for slavery? Him, he treated it with authenticity... And he treated it as the horror that it was. Oh, no, I think he's just blaming they the Jews for the movies. Oh, place. well, that's that fair. Old, bullshit, old, old, old fucking slave music, that famous, ooh, 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 that old bullshit. Yeah, that old oh, slave Lord, bullshit. That old bullshit. And I look, here's the movie come out 20 years after Roots. Roots was like damn near the black power movement compared to this shit. Roots is shit. Roots was hell compared to this movie. Then they got them all up in there just like, there you go, they dancing and shit. You see what I'm saying? They got yeah, them up they there be dancing. Dance. Them motherfuckers in jail about to get slaughtered. They don't know whether, because they don't know whether, the man already told them, y'all ass go back to Cuba, we're going to kill y'all ass and make an example. Them motherfuckers up in there dancing. Acting like damn monkeys. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You crazy Cubans. You know what I'm saying? I should have knew better. You see? You see? Bobby Hebbett fucking hates LeVar Burton. Yeah, he does. So they're about to get at the Academy Award now. It's still that same old bullshit. And like, you you didn't have no religion. Come on. You in a damn tree with some damn bananas and shit. So somebody hand you a damn book. Damn, Bobby. You a white man. That didn't even make a motherfucker damn near a little orange looking. Come on. This straight up cracker up in here on the cross. Cracker on the cross. And then they show the damn... And they show you know what the craziest part is? This this video is monetized. You know, YouTube works in mysterious ways. That's uh, you know, I, I guess you know more, more power to them. I would certainly never want his uh, monetization taken away. But what they choose to allow? Look, I just assume this means YouTube condones everything so Brother Bobby's now. talking. He see a cross <laughs> the first time he saw a damn cross. They want one hundred percent believe all of this. The, 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 the sale got a cross. Oh, and he gonna look, that's the cross right there. <laughs> what is, and, and my point is, is, you gotta realize who did this shit. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's okay. That's where the Jews get worked. And we know who he is. We know better, because the Jews say, you better ain't bring that old fake ass shit up in here. Hmm. To the day now, Jesus, who, Jesus, which is not a Jewish name. Right. right there, that's a damn contradiction right there. Oh, you shouldn't bought the damn bullshit. Right. Jesus is not even a Hell Jewish. Yeah. Jewish name. It's not even in the Jewish language. J is not in the Jewish language. So how the fuck can Jesus feel Jew? And my point is, if he did <laughs> live, fair point. I'm quite sure that motherfucker said his name enough that the people, even the Romans go, well, your name is Jorge or whatever. <laughs> if he said my name is Ben something, the Roman, if he's documenting history, he can say, well, hell. Uh, is your name he Jorge? Did, he told us what his fucking name is. Now why the hell we got to give a Greek and Roman name, which we got to deal with today, the person, now let's get this right, because there's a difference between the Christ, the Christ, or what, Christos, uh -huh. Christos, difference between the Christ, the Christ, Christos, or Christ, and Jesus. Jesus is a total alien man-made creature, ain't got nothing to do with the Christ. Oh. Damn, Jesus, Jesus Christ is actually on. two people. I should have known it. The enemy of black people. And I'm not talking I about think Bobby of... watched too many like thriller movies in the 90s and just decided everything had a plot twist. Yeah, I mean, he is. He does think movies are real. Yeah, so, so it's like, well, he's not one guy. He's actually, that's actually he's twins. two guys. <laughs> yeah, and he's not dead. That's a clone. Like, it's just yeah. the sting music plays over a dramatic <laughs> reveal. Because I just want to just come up to you. I'm desperate. And I want to make some lie up. No, the spirit has blessed me to go straight to the source, and we're going to break this thing down today with scholarship. 
Not only we know the Jesus and all of that, but we can tell you that he is a doll that brought the devil. I like that instead. Jesus is the ultimate enemy of black people. Damn. Not the Christ. Word. You just say Jesus Christ. Like that's, just, that's the motherfucker last name. <laughs> exactly. Mary Christ. Joseph Christ. But that ain't the motherfucker last name. What the fuck you calling him that shit for? Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying? Who is Jesus? It's not a... Wait a minute now, all you Christians, debate me on this shit. Jesus is not a Hebrew word. Word. Right? But yet, they, they, couldn't, they couldn't say he was African. Couldn't say he was Roman or Greek. So they say he's Hebrew. They picked the motherfucker they're going to give it to. Well, if Jesus was it's a not Jew, even really why you don't Jewish. have a Jewish name? He's a clone. You see what I'm saying? Well, Yeshua. <laughs> well, if he was Yeshua, why don't you call him Yeshua? Well, because we why wrote the book in English. Jesus? <laughs> No, got trans Come on, in the right no few times. that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. You're right. Oh, he's going to see motherfuckers suspend his common sense. So all of a sudden, anytime you come up and you speak and shit, he go, where did you get that from? <laughs> Document that. Give me your references. Give me your sources. So all of a sudden, this motherfucker done got dumb. He's calling a motherfucking Greek and Roman name to a damn person supposed to be a Hebrew. Now, that don't... So you gotta look at this. You see, you gotta study a person's patterns. Uh huh. If his thing is we got to be so precise and so scholarly, why the hell that motherfucker suspend his scholarship? Be up in Harvard talk about Jesus. Fucking damn theologian talking about Jesus. <laughs> a fucking yeah. Greek and Roman name for theologians should shut up. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's <laughs> the same thing. Knocking off you about the whole Jesus thing. Yeah, Jordan, get over it. And you calling that motherfucker dumb child? It's Two thousand years ago. <laughs> Here. And you calling that motherfucker Dung Chow Ping. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that Chinese Jesus is a funny bit. <laughs> Dung Chow Ping. <laughs> no, they crucified <laughs> Ping on the cross. Forgive <laughs> him, Lord. Forgive him, please. They know not what they do. <laughs> they stabbed him with the a chopstick. <laughs> they harp harpooned him. Yeah, yeah and a fortune name comes name out. <laughs> they put, that's what they, they put on the cross, is a fortune. Yeah. Break the cookie, you <laughs> punches. <laughs> the backside of the cross. Punches, the fortune cookie says a Barabbas. The backside of the cross just has lottery numbers on it. It don't make no sense. Lucky number one crucifixion. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> At least this no good bastard called Jesus. And then when he comes back three days that's later, that's leftovers. <laughs> that's when he reheated. <laughs> he reheated great. <laughs> yes. It's actually better the third day. Yes. Kurt Franklin did the church's commercial, right? They said over here on, uh, over there on, um, what's that place that Nature's Kitchen used to be? What? Riverdale Road near Clef Creflo Dollar Place. They say he did the church's chicken commercial, and they had a fuck that. Now, church has been out here. Motherfuckers don't even eat churches no more. No. You go to Word. damn New York and fill it, churches is all closed down. It's Popeyes. Right? Mm. You ain't got but a few churches in Atlanta, the West End, and a few other places where black people are. Uh -huh. Right? This man go do a church's chicken commercial. Now, check this shit out. <laughs> damn. The next Sunday after he did the church's chicken commercial, they had a motherfucking line two miles long. Right. For people getting out of damn church at Creflo Dollar to go to church and chicken. Oh, now, I number see. one, that ought to let see. you know that that's some government program shit right there. See, church, church is chicken. Church is chicken. Jumping around. Jesus. Church is chicken. Jesus chicken. You get out of church and you got a line going to get some motherfucking <laughs> shit that you don't even eat no more. You ain't since the goddamn early 80s. <laughs> but the niggas in the hood, because they ain't got no more money to do that. I have no idea what he's trying to do. I don't understand. Get he has that. the tirade right. about going to church as chicken because yeah, you're poor. Uh, 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 Popeyes is better than that shit. Hell yeah, dude. Popeyes <laughs> is better than that shit. That's a chicken. <laughs> yeah, he ain't Tennessee wrong. Tennessee and stuff and Mrs. Winters. That's Mrs. Tennessee. Winters. That must be a local joint. If you want to get joint. real down, dig Gladys Knight, chicken and waffle. <laughs> Amen. Go with the wine and brother. My point is, <laughs> fried chicken's delicious. My like point is, I am hungry. <laughs> like <this laughs> I'm famous. Let's take a break. Ambalad Muhammad say, come on. That he said in, in the theology of time, he said, going to come a time you're going to have to kill these black preachers because they have done your people Whoa. wrong. Right. 
So I'm saying we need to call for the death of that motherfucker. Oh. Now, <laughs> oh. All right. So anybody want to do the favor, fuck it. The damn spirit will do this shit. I'm telling you. Monetize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monetize. He just directly <laughs> called for someone to kill Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> yeah, he did. Damn, the '90s were so cool. <laughs> this is what, you fucking kids. This is what you're missing. We used to. This is what you kill ru- everyone. This is why we're so mad at the youth. You've ruined this. This used to be perfectly acceptable. No one would bat an eye at a man just <laughs> getting serious and yelling about, you know, maybe murdering a public figure, soliciting the crowd to go, you know, maybe murder Elijah Muhammad. We need a little mob justice back in the public. All right, why don't we? Uh, We'll call it there. Right. And we're going to keep chunking this up into you know, our little 40, 45-minute uh, chunks and get through it. There's only so much that my my Jewish cracker mind can it's process too, at a time. It's too pure. Well, because like that was so... It's undiluted. I mean, that there was a lot in there. There was the, the Atlanta Hawks being Nazis. Yeah. There was, uh, the, the, we're shipping... We're shipping all the poor, poor black people to and, Africa and criminals, but we have to mind wipe them first. Yeah, so and they believe they're African, and then we're cloning death row criminals so we can still kill them. And uh, something about Church's chicken. I'm still yes. not sure what he was getting. How at Church's with that last chicken rant. sucks. All right, uh, patreoncom slash hidden plain sight pod. Uh, what's what's the Patreon going? Uh, it's gonna be more. We're gonna get into some prison shit. Yeah. I've been digging the prison shit. More anal rape. <laughs> yes. Uh, at hidden plain sight radio on Instagram. At you're at Brandon Still Hidden on mm-hmm. Instagram. We're at the Hidden Pod on Twitter. Hootie hoop. Mom out.